Hey, what's up coders? Welcome to One Little Coder. Text to image has been exploding since Stable Diffusion was launched. And starting today, I think text to video is going to explode because at this point we have got two models, really good. One is open source that is like hosted on model scope. The second one is the very famous Runway has come up with a new model called Gen 2. If you are not familiar, Runway already has a Gen 1 model. Now they have a Gen 2 model, which they are calling the next step forward for generative AI. So what we are going to do in this video is we're going to explore Gen 2 model. We're going to see a couple of use cases and I'm going to show you how Gen 1 model works. And we're going to do all these things end to end in this video to start with what is gen 2 gen 2 is the second version of their video generation model ai video generation what is ai video generation here just like ai image generation you give a prompt and that prompt helps you helps the ai create a new video in itself as opposed to just an image as you can see the demo here you can see here how it works so you give a prompt once you give a prompt that prompt can be used to generate a video this was until Gen 1, but with Gen 2 now, you can actually give a text and also you can give an input image. So you can give a text and you can give an input image, which is very similar to what we used to do with in image to image in stable diffusion. If you are familiar with image to image in stable diffusion, we used to give a text prompt and we also used to give a driving, driving image, which we'll use to finally create a new image using image to image. The same thing here, you have a prompt and then you have an image and then that is going to generate a video. Let's go step by step. What is the first model? The first model here is the prompt says the late afternoon sun peeking through the window of a New York loft, New York City loft. And you can see that it has actually generated that image, that video. So the prompt is given and that video is generated. Next is you can give text and also you can give image and then that gets converted into a video or AI is going to create a video based on the text and based on the image. So here in this case, it took anything from its latent space to create the New York City loft. But here it made sure that it is using the input image as a driving image and the prompt to create something. What is the prompt here? The prompt here is a, a low angle shot of a man walking down a street illuminated by neon signs of bars around him. So you can see the neon signs around him and also the man with the same costume you can see has been taken from this picture. And what is the third model? The third model is do not give a text, just give an image as an input and that can generate video for you. So input image and that has been now created as a video. I think this is one of the most popular use cases I can think of because a lot of people sometimes wants to create um, Instagram reels or YouTube shorts, TikTok videos. For them, sometimes one particular image has to be, let's say, zoomed in, panned, or made a small animation out of it. And that is exactly what it is doing. It's generating a video using a single driving image, and they're calling it variations mode. Maybe I think it's going to generate different variations in the latent space, and uh, probably it is going to combine all these things together and then stitch. That's what people used to do with stable diffusion, but that seems probably what they're doing here. Also, you can do model stylization. You can transfer the style of one uh, image to another one. For example, you have a source video. You can use this video prompt style and you take the style and put it there. So the, very similar like what people are doing with control net. And also you can do storyboard. You can turn a fully full, like mock-up into an animation render like you have this, right? This is what people have been doing with Gen 1 if you know. So you have an input video. And now that has been converted into like, you know, the skyline shot or something like an like, like a shot from the sky. And finally, you can also do mask like you have a dog, and then you can select the dog and then say this is what you want to modify. For example, you have the input video, a dog with the black spots on white fur. Unlike an image here, the frame is actually moving. So I guess probably they're actually capturing individual frame and doing it, but I'm not sure. So you can see the dogs moving. The reason why I felt that they're actually uh, capturing different frames and doing it is when the dog is moving here at this particular, I don't know if I can pause it. Yeah, at this particular point, you can notice the body of the dog changes. That's because every time when they generate an image, I think in one particular frame, it has moved the position and that's why you can see that. I'm not sure, still I'm not sure how they're doing it. They're doing it. Oh. They've got a few more options. Rendering, you can have a 3D object and render it and you can do customization. 
for this customization you can basically do all of these things together like you can whatever um, you're doing you can do customization there is a human and you have everything together so now if you want to know how does it feel so they are uh, they have done some survey it seems based on the user study results from gen 2 are preferred over existing methods of image to image and video to video translation very surprisingly they did not compare this with the gen 1 they compared this with stable diffusion 1 they compared this with text to life but they did not compare it with gen 1 maybe because it's not open completely so what are they saying 73 percent of users part who took part in the user study prefers gen 2 and 88 percent like over stable diffusion 1.5 also another surprising thing is stable diffusion 1.5 not 2 i don't know now another surprising thing is 88 percent of people prefer text to life over um sorry prefer gen 2 over text to life all well and good the only caveat here is i have no clue how to access this model at this point i went to runway it is not there i went to discord it is not there they have a paper you can check the paper if you want technical details so that almost takes us to the last section of this video but before that i would like to quickly summarize gen 2 is the next step in text to video generation or in fact ai video generation now you can generate it with just text model one model two you can generate with text and image model three you can take an image and generate a video model four you can do stylization model five you can do storyboarding and model six you can do mask model seven you can do rendering and model eight you can do customization at different levels you can have different images and then you can get high quality or high resolution high fidelity result now i'm going to show you how you if you have gotten access to gen one what would you do so i've got this video the same video that we have got here which is the dancer video so i'm going to go to the discord where uh, gen 2 um, i can generate i'm going to go to one of the channels here here and i'm going to say gen 1 so the prompt that i want to give gen 1 fire man with superhero superhero with fire balls and uh, i'm going to add this upload a file select the file and send it so i've sent it right now you can see that it is getting uploaded it is a 5 mb file so we have our final video generated we got a message and we also got the parameters that were used we are we're not doing any upscaling but you can see the parameters including the um, seed value and you can see we didn't upscale so let's compare this oh oh it's not bad actually if you in fact there is a fireball like when you compare this video where you have given input prompt and then there is a fireball in the hand you can actually see this image this video which I'm going to show you and you can see how it looks like I don't know if I can play both of them together let me play both of them together and you can see it actually does a very good job this is gen 1 imagine when gen 2 is launched it's going to blow everybody's mind and I think it's actually blowing my mind because I've not used gen 1 completely but if you are interested let me know i'll try to make a separate video on gen 1 where we can try different options but right now gen 2 and ai video generation especially text to video generation is going to completely blow up seems like the natural uh, direction in which this entire space is moving i hope this video tutorial was helpful to you in learning about gen 2 from runway ml which is a completely new ai video generation model that does everything from text to image to everything. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, see you in another video. Happy prompting.